So T minus 27 days till I leave for sick week. And I spent the last few days just cleaning engine parts. So I hit the block with about six runs of Zip Purple Degrees. Highly recommend, but I would say, go ahead and get the five gallon jug and just save yourself some time and money. Also, the Zip Wide Mouth Spray Bottle, highly recommend. I've got most of the valve train components clean. I left this one dirty so you could get an idea of what they all used to look like. I soaked them in this super sweet uh, BP number 87 engine cleaner. That should give you an indication of what the inside of the engine looked like. Somebody skipped a few oil changes. Oh yeah, I cleaned the crank as well. No brushing at all, just the zip like 13 times. Again, five gallon jug. I used the bore gauge to mic all the bores. Don't really know why. I'm gonna bottle brush on it no matter what it says. That being said, for the most part, every cylinder is within one thou of round and about one thou of taper top to bottom. There's my outlier. It's about one and a half thou out around to the top. I can live with that. We'll mic it again after we punch the bore. Then we'll just have to clean up a few gasket surfaces, do a final cleaning on the entire block, getting all the oil galleys, and we'll start putting it together. So here is our subject engine. 1975 Chevrolet small block 350. It is a four bolt main block. And the boards are actually in really good shape. The engine was dirty, but the bearings and the boards are in good shape. These are just a few of the bearings I snagged. Nothing exceptional to see here. They just look like 50 year old bearings. Everything looks good. It's just a little too shiny. And these oil rings are absolutely stuck. Very hard to break loose. And that's likely the source of our excessive oil consumption. Excessive, a, a quart per tank. That's, that's pretty good oil burn. And the pistons have seen better days, but they'll run. Well, this one won't run. This is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like after it gets a severe case of gravity and hits a concrete floor. So I have to replace that piston Otherwise, I would reuse all the pistons. This is a budget build, and there's no reason to pay for parts that aren't broken. Now, they might be worn, but as long as I don't put the micrometer on them and see how worn they are, I won't care. They'll be fine. Probably. We can do a little rotary rebuild with this bottle brush on, throw a set of new rings in it, and it's ready for smoky burnouts.